In a world where the people paid to entertain us feel the need to talk down to us as if to cover up the fact they're about as passionate at storytelling as Lizzo is at a salad bar or Rachel Ziegler is at being likeable. Sometimes it's good to go back to the classics, back to when people who made films knew what they were doing, respected the audience that paid their wages and went out of their way to make you feel, you know, that thing called emotions. And the 1942 classic Casablanca definitely is a great example. The film starts with people desperately trying to flee to America in a bid to escape their homes from Nazi invasions, but unfortunately, because of the lack of transport and funding, they are stranded in Casablanca, spending their evenings desperately trying to win the funds or sell their belongings, killing off time in a nightclub run by the cynical Rick Blaine, played by the awesome Humphrey Bogart. Unfortunately, it's looking like the Nazis are making themselves at home there too. Rick and his musician friend goes along with it, as Rick cares nothing about the plights of people on both sides. Rick is then tasked by crooked police captain Louise Renault, played by Cloud Rains, to give up badass POW escapee Victor Laszlo, played by Paul Henreit. Laszlo then shows up with Ilsa Lund, played by the gorgeous Ingrid Bergman, and it's here we find out that Rick and Ilsa were a couple in France, and Rick was actually a compassionate man. But before they were to wed, the Nazis invaded France, and Ilsa left Rick stranded at the train station, devastating him, leaving him a cold and bitter shell of a man. Now Rick is faced with a dilemma. Repair his broken relationship with Ilsa and help Laszlo escape, or give in to his bitterness and give up Laszlo. Casablanca really is one of those rare films untouched by shit remakes for modern movie watcher types, and over 80 years later, it still stands the test of time. Bogart is great as cynic with a heart Rick, and pulls it off with pure confidence, all in every room he walks in, but is also an apathetic broken man, Robbed of his optimism and empathy, succumbing to his bitterness, with his only friend Sam played by the likeable Duda Wilson there to humanise him. But it's in the scene at the roulette table is where we start to see a hint of the goodness he had suppressed years ago, and his character development does feel genuine. Ingrid Bergman lights up the screen as Ilsa Lund, displaying vulnerability and warmth, and when we find out why she dumped Rick, it is understandable. And God, I wish more women looked like her, instead of looking like warning labels for narcissism. But she's also a troubled woman who made the choice she deemed was the correct one, but still guilt-ridden after what she had done to Rick, still harbouring feelings towards him. Cloud Rains manages to be likeable as Captain Reynolds, and this could have been a very cold and ruthless character, but man, the guy is affable, polite and charming as fuck. And Paul Henright is an absolute legend, a suave badass Laszlo, a man in a desperate situation, but always keeping his cool, looking proper boss in his double-breasted suit, and still finding a way of sticking it to the Germans out for his head. One scene in particular is the scene where the Germans are throwing their weight about, singing their anthem, the musicians reluctantly playing, not liking it, but Laszlo being awesome, not fucking about, encourages the musicians to play Le Marcel, and man, it has to be one of my favourite movie moments. Everybody gets up singing, with the Germans unsuccessfully trying to drown them out. While this is happening, we get a great close-up of Yvonne, played by Madeleine Labau, tears in her eyes, proud, triumphant, and the fact that her and many of the actors in this scene were actually refugees escaping the Nazis only adds to the emotional weight. Also, it does lead to a very funny moment where Winolt is ordered to raid the club under suspicion of gambling, only for one of the employees to hand Winolt his winnings, which he casually accepts, and it cracks me up every time. My only nitpick was in one scene where Renault comments on Rick having a heart despite his cynicism, which I always felt never needed to be said. Sometimes what's shown without words can be more powerful. But apart from that, it's an inspiring tale, full of memorable one-liners, and always leaves me with a smile on my face every time I watch it. And don't download it, or stream it, go out, get a physical copy to preserve this classic, just in case the walk wankers found anything problematic. From the sharp dialogue, the charming cast, the uplifting message about selflessness, redemption, and compassion in a world falling apart, 
Casablanca is a true classic in every sense. And whether you beautiful bastards are Northern English or not, thanks for watching and do remember to like and subscribe. But for now, that's me done and I'm off to the pub. <laughs>